righty, welcome to our final session for today's um, July 2024 car forms updates. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I think that this is the quickest way to get the information out there without us having to edit them and get them posted. Again, you guys missed out on the class yesterday. Um, those That video will be posted at some point soon, hopefully, um, but there is a delay because we do have to edit it before we put it up on YouTube. These will just get the raw ones that will stay in the foxhole group. Um, secondly, if you've been watching the videos all day, you notice the background changed. Earlier today, there was nothing on the back of the shelves. And today I put up a wall. So that's what I've been doing in between classes. <clears throat> so let's get started with our final two forms for today. The first one that we're going to cover is the cancellation of buyer representation. And this goes along with our BRBC or the PSRA. Yes, hold on, I'm just double checking my acronym that's been hidden somewhere. There it is. Uh, PSRA, I was great, I was right. All right, so top of this, this was revised 724. It's been in existence. I think they actually put this in existence. I can't remember if it was December of last year or June of this year. Um, where they separated out the cancellation. Um, so you've got the uh, parties and property. You're going to put the buyer or broker's name there. So again, that's going to be Realty One Group Fox. Has agreed to represent. You're going to put the buyer's names there for the purpose of locating and acquiring real property or a manufactured home pursuant to a written buyer representation agreement dated. So again, this dated, remember, it's going to be the date in the upper left-hand corner of the first page of the buyer representation agreement. It has disappeared on the Facebook page. So I may have to reshare it. Hold on. We're going to, oh, there it goes. All right. <clears throat> Section two is notice of cancellation of buyer representation. The representation may be canceled by either buyer or, or broker or both by signing in the applicable box below and delivering to the other party. However, compensation may still be owed based on the contractual rights of the buyer representation agreement or otherwise, right? So here they just gave us the option on A that we're either the buyer's canceling, the broker's canceling, or both, right? Mutual cancellation. The effective date of the cancellation, um, if the buyer representation agreement is for non-exclusive representation, the cancellation is effective immediately upon this notice or blank days after receipt of. So that's whatever you filled in on the BRBC. If the buyer representation agreement is for exclusive representation, which I encourage everybody to check that box for exclusive re representation, the cancellation is effective 30 days after the receipt of the notice. Okay, so 30 days after. Now, keep in mind that um, the difference between exclusive and non-exclusive, non-exclusive is that I'm only going to get compensated for properties that I showed them that I had broker involvement, not necessarily show, but broker involvement on versus an exclusive is any property. So um, for example, if I've got a non-exclusive representation agreement and a buyer goes into a new home community and buys a new home, then I'm not entitled to that compensation. If they didn't inform me, they were going to go look at new homes. If with an exclusive agreement that buyer goes into a new home community, I'm due a commission from the buyer side for that new home community for purchase, okay? So that's the difference between those. Doesn't have to be a new home, but that was just the easiest way because that's usually where we lose our buyers. Um, <laughs> regardless of the type of representation, buyer and broker may agree to mutually cancel the buyer representation agreement immediately upon the last signature in the mutual cancellation box or blank days after. So you've got a couple options here. Um, I feel like it should have a box and you get to check which one, but maybe they'll address that later on. So those are your options for cancellation. This notice applies to all properties that may be subject to the buyer representation or only the for the following properties. So you'd fill in that there if it was just specific properties. Once cancellation becomes effective, broker will not be the buyer's agent during any negotiation or transaction that results between the buyer and the seller. Any questions that a buyer has about a property to be acquired shall be directed to the seller's broker, if any, or to the seller, or to any new buyer, broker buyer retains, or to the buyer's own separate counsel. Okay, just making it clear what happens once cancellation happens. Um, compensation due to broker. 
buyer agrees to pay broker in a specified written agreement between them. That's going to be that BRBC and the PSRA provide that in the event of cancellation, broker shall be entitled to compensation for those properties which there is broker involvement. If any such properties acquired during the representation period, broker shall give buyer a list of such properties within five days after the effective cancellation of the buyer representation agreement or compensation shall be paid as specified in paragraph three below and only if both parties agree by signing below paragraph three. Okay, so default is here's the list of properties. Um, two, which we would need to check the box is as paid below. F is buyer to obtain other advice, advice, buyer advises, broker advises buyer to obtain real estate, legal tax, title, insurance, and other desired advice from a qualified California professional. It probably is going to update at some point and say a qualified California legal professional or real estate something there, but it doesn't. Here's unilateral or buyer broker cancellation, buyers or brokers slash agent signature. That's the party canceling the representation goes in the top box. Okay. Or buyer and broker mutual cancellation, buyer signatures go down here in the bottom. Okay. Notice that we don't need two sets of signatures. Um, if it's if it's a mutual, then buyer sign and broker sign. If it if just one party's canceling, whoever is canceling signs the top. Okay. Any questions on that first page? I think I lost everybody. All right. Three only applies if paragraph two E2 is checked above with both parties signing below, buyer agrees to pay broker as follows. Subsequent acquisition of property during representation period or extension for which there was broker involvement prior to cancellation. The amount of compensation specified in the written buyer representation agreement if uh, within blank calendar days after this cancellation of buyer representation or the representation period in the buyer representation agreement, broker enters into contract to buy, lease, or otherwise acquire property specified below for which there was broker involvement prior to the effective date of cancellation. Okay, we talked about that in the BRBC. It's just going to cancel. Uh, it's just going to be concurrent with that agreement for the most part. That would be a. Okay, hey, if any of these we enter into agreement, I'm due a commission. Expenses incurred. Buyer agrees to pay broker blank dollars for out-of-pocket expenses, costs incurred, and other services rendered to buyer prior to the effective date of the cancellation of the buyer representation agreement. I don't know what those would be. Maybe you're going to charge them for gas. C is broker to receive a referral fee. Broker will receive a referral fee from another broker pursuant to a separate written agreement with the broker. D is no compensation. Buyer owes no compensation to broker. We're just mutually canceling. No commissions due. Goodbye. I don't want to deal or talk with you again. That would be D. Or E is other. Buyer and broker each acknowledge by signing below that they have received a copy of this cancellation. And then they sign down here. So we only have to sign if three applies. So if 2E2 two two is checked up here, compensation shall be paid as specified in paragraph three. Okay. Then we bounce down to this section three. Otherwise, we just sign the page one. Three doesn't apply. There you go. All right. Fabulous. Um, if you guys have any questions on those, you can throw it in the comments box and I can get around to answer those. Also, we'll be handling a Q&A on Wednesday, the 24th at 11 a.m. on the same Zoom link that's posted for this. Um, so if you have any questions on these forms, you can hop on to that Q&A session. We're going to hop on over to the next one, which is the notice of broker involved property. So, right. So we talked about um, providing them a list of properties to which there was broker involvement. Here is that form. They've just updated a couple things on this. This is not a new form. It was released at least in June. I think it was last December. It could have been longer than that, but I think it was when they updated the BRBC. Um, Broker involved properties. Notice the broker notice of broker involved properties is being provided to you as required by the written BRBC agreement between buyer and broker, Realty One Group Fox. The representation agreement dated blank. So they added the date. That's that date, the printed date in the upper left-hand corner of the first page. 
the representation agreement commenced on blank date. So that's the effective date of the, the agreement. So that would either be when we said the representation agreement was going to be effective if everybody signed on that day or before that day, or it would be the date of the last signature on the BRBC, that would be the effective date. Um, and it expires on, was extended to, or terminates on blank date. Okay, that's all the reasons that we would serve this in BIP. Compensation agreement. Buyer has agreed to pay broker the compensation provided for in the representation agreement for property described in paragraph 2B. Um, there is no 2B, so they probably need to update this. Oh, no, uh, here, buyer has, that's referring back to the BRBC. I apologize. Buyer has agreed to pay broker the compensation provided for in the representation agreement for property described in paragraph 2B. That's of the BRBC. Um, if I would have read the last, the next line, I would have uh, known that. And for which there was broker involvement. Broker involved par property as follows. If buyer enters into a contract to acquire a broker involved property within the specified number of calendar days after the expiration of the representation period or any extension, and broker has provided to buyer a written list of broker involved properties in paragraph four prior to the expiration of the representation agreement. Um, usually it's within five days after, but I would do it if it expires um, prior to. Or if after cancellation of the representation agreement, buyer enters into contract. Oh, here. So if it's um, the expiration of the representation agreement, you need to make sure that you're on your game and you have that list of properties ready to go and provide it before that expires or on the expiration date. The next one, if it's being canceled, um, buyer enters into contract to acquire broker involved property during the representation period, or if Apple, the specified numbers of days after the termination of the representation period and broker has provided buyer a written list of properties um, five days after the effective date of the cancellation of the representation period. So those are the two things. So notice the thing in both of those is you have to provide them a list of properties. Otherwise it doesn't matter. They cancel, they walk away, they'll go write a property. You have no legal ramifications to go after them if you did not provide them properties. Broker involved properties pursuant to the representation agreement. Broker identifies the following property for which there was broker involvement. You can fill it in on this line, or we could check this box here to see the attached list of broker involved properties. Personally, systems and processes are my game. I would make sure that when we're working with buyers, that we have an ongoing list somewhere that's easy to access and get to on our phone, maybe our notes section, maybe our computer, wherever it is. Um, that anytime we do any work on their behalf for any property, we make some calls to check availability, whether they go see it or not. We go show properties. We mark the date and time and the activity that we did for them with that property so that we have an ongoing list. Then we can just take that list, print it up, put it with this um, this NIBB, NIBB, NBIP. I was almost there, NBIP form, and just check this box to see the list of attached properties because now. Not only do we have a full list of properties, we've got the dates and activities that were done on those. Not that that's required, but it might be helpful. If broker intends to enter into a buyer representation agreement with another broker, buyer is advised to provide this notice to that broker. Failure to do so may obligate the buyer to pay both broker and the other broker. Date of this notice, the notice of broker involved properties is being provided to buyer on for the date that you're actually providing it to the buyer, you're gonna fill out your information here. I acknowledge a receipt of a copy of this notice of broker involved properties. Now keep in mind, they've added something. It says note to buyer. Once this notice of broker involved properties has been delivered to you, it is effective even if you do not sign. Honestly, what I would do is I would email it to them and I would maybe text to follow up to make sure they got it. I would probably mail them a copy as well to make sure that they received a copy if they did not um, confirm my text message that they received the emailed version of it. So that's the notice of broker involved properties. This notice is required upon cancellation or expiration if you wanna get paid for any of the properties that you showed during the representation period, okay? If you guys have any questions, again, you can throw them in that comment section um, or you can show up for the Q&A on Wednesday, the 24th at 11 a.m. that Zoom call. 
I look forward to seeing you guys there. Have a great evening. Thanks for hanging in there with me today to go over all these, pro these forms. I will see you tomorrow.